Well, so the ads basically take place in a set. So one's in a cafe, one's in an architect studio. The main protagonist of each ad sticks a piece of paper on the wall, a blueprint or a menu, and then that piece of paper expands out and eventually ends up showing another scene of another place, so a building site on the top of a building, which is shot on the same lens at the same height so that it matches the perspective of the room that you're sitting in. So you get this kind of trompe l'oeil effect where you're not entirely sure whether you're in one space or the other space. And I wanted to shoot the other environment, if you like, that the space transforms into in time lapse because I wanted to get this sort of unreal sense of time going on. You know, you've got stop motion animation of the paper, you've got stop motion animation of the people. There's a kind of sped up stop motion time lapse. So you don't really feel like you're in any true, real sense of time. At Brother, our main philosophy is focused around being at your side. And that means at your side to our customers, at your side to our employees, following through and even at your side in terms of how our products are made. All of it sort of founded on ambition and it was when sort of one for one became this metaphor for that. that that's when things really started yeah. taking off. It was very important that in a campaign we talk about our customers and of course that we talk about the products and bring those two things together. And again, the idea here is, is it's, it's, it's their idea, it's their dreams and, you know, them improving on what they do. But it's all made easier and made more possible thanks to the printer. We've got like a bit of a paper explosion here. We're getting the actors, that's one piece of paper. And basically their ideas are supposed to flood the wall. Um, so we're sort of developing uh, various techniques, uh, how to do this. And it's sort of lots of paper unfurling and how to try and get something nice and through the process of stop motion sort of, to basically cover the entire wall. Animating the characters in stop motion, which was a challenge to say the least, but I think that kind of brings something different to it. You know, all the paper animating and the people animating at the same time, you know, it will just give it a really, really nice feel. This is called pixelation. Uh, I'm basically from a stop motion background, so we normally do puppet animation, but this is obviously with people, so we're having to move a person and they're having to hold the position, and then we're taking a frame and there are about 25 frames per second, so he's got to do about 25 movements. When you can, this is the sort of job that, yeah, you want to be doing. It's technically challenging, hopefully it's going to look good. It's techniques and they use different challenges in them. I'd definitely seek that sort of work out if I can get it, because those are the jobs you remember. That's the stuff you want to do. There's quite a few different elements really. This is for architects at the moment, so I'm just roughing out the timing of what images are going to appear on the screen. And essentially we're doing these as wipes at the moment, but eventually these will be animated pieces of 3D paper. We're trying to do something new and we're trying to really trying to make the business stronger and we're really trying to deliver on two things, which is product unit sales, but really taking the business on and moving it forward and be more ambitious.